Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 5 of designing an island in 30 days with no Nintendo online. We are here with Isabel. It is a good morning, 8 in the morning, and today's announcements we have our ordinances. Yay! Okay, I said that kind of sarcastically, but isn't there a bell boom ordinance? I need to look into this because this may actually be very beneficial for us and our bells. And we have unlocked Cap'n Island tours. Thank goodness, this will just be something nice for us to go and do. Just a little change of scenery, you know, some more items, some more DIYs to get love it with all that out of the way let's get into our daily routine i'm gonna check my mail look for my bottle on the beach plant my money tree shake my trees and order my five items also if i ever see a shark i'm gonna go ahead and try to catch it because sharks do sell for a decent amount of money and i'm not gonna donate to the museum i'm just gonna sell them wait when he's crafting when he's crafting i looked it up last night and you can get that garden wagon diy from a peppy villager so i'm always gonna go in her house whenever she's crafting Please, Winnie, give it to me. I need it. Ah, why can't you be crafting? Be good for something. Winnie, come on. CJ's here. Wait. Okay. This is a good opportunity to make some money. All right. So we got a couple of tasks ahead of us today. I also got a letter in the mail saying that there's new things that I can redeem for in the Nook Stop. I want the fancy 2.0 items. Can I have those yet? Oh, we have some. Okay. There's some stuff in here that's really cute. The main thing I'm going to be going after is this gazebo, this bad boy, and I don't really know what else yet. Maybe this but that's, there are a lot of miles and I'm gonna have to save up for those. So that's a ways in the future, but good to know that I have it. Let's also go see what Nooks has in store for us today. Ooh, let me catch this, thank you. Oh, hello, oh great, a repeat item. Can you guys get some new stuff in here, please? I also really want that umbrella that kind of looks like a doily, like all fancy. I forget what it's called, but they don't have it here today. We're gonna keep checking for it though. Okay, so today's game plan. I was kind of thrown for a loop since CJ showed up. I wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for him, honestly. But we're going to make the best of it and we're just going to try to grind out some fish. Maybe, you know, maybe we should actually be good at catching fish. That would help. Okay, I feel bad because I've been selling all the fossils, but we're going to make a good amount of money today with CJ. So I'm going to finally donate some of these bad boys. And before I forget, let's go on our first Cap'n Island. I feel like that will be a nice little change of pace, a nice little adventure. And hopefully we can we can get some cool stuff on the Cap'n Island. We've arrived. Thanks, Cap'n. Okay, so anything? anything juicy Ooh, message in a bottle that's always pretty juicy let's see what we got dear decoration no that's to go inside on the wall i don't want those okay i was dumb and i put all my tools in storage so hey i need i need a shovel we got our first gyroid fragment that's always very exciting gyroids are gonna be also another kind of slightly unorthodox way to decorate i mean it's not really unorthodox but you know they're not technically an item but they're gonna be very very useful we can definitely use those bad boys to decorate you know with our with our lack of items okay there is not really anything that exciting here i was honestly i was hoping for more i would take these bushes because i don't have bushes but these are not gonna match the theme that i'm potentially thinking of so i'm just gonna leave them here this was kind of a waste to be honest this was kind of a waste of a thousand miles i'm ready to go home okay back to the fishing game plan i'm loaded up on fishing rods let's freaking go we're mainly going to be looking for sharks today people but we will take whatever fish finds its way to us. We don't judge. We accept all over here. There are no fish over here. Here's our first subject. Oh, great. Okay, take two. Take two. This will be better. This will be better. I mean, at least it's a fish, right? Literally, where are all the fish? I haven't seen a single fish in the ocean. I've only been getting them in rivers. Oh, there's a balloon. This will make up for it. I'm sure this is going to be something amazing. A scooter. Amazing. Okay, is Amelia crafting by any chance? Ah, <sighs> it has to be you. Okay, what do you got for me today? A tree stump rug. Stop giving me things that I can't place outside please okay enough of that let's let's go back to fishing i'll take a horse mackerel i don't i don't think those are worth much honestly oh we got some nook miles though times five just for catching fish you know okay that was worth it we may not have caught the most expensive fish but at least we got some nook miles i already know this is a sea bass it's gonna be a sea bass isn't it yep Okay, let's try a little pond fish. I bet you're gonna be something cute. I was very wrong. Oh, who's this sweet little baby in here? Who am I gonna catch? Oh, no one apparently. Oh, 
Spiky boy. Oh, red snapper. I know these sell for quite a bit, so that is that is very nice. Whoa, guys, I just remembered that bait exists. I've been running around willy-nilly when I could just be making bait this whole time. Okay, so I do have a pretty mostly full inventory. So I'm going to go sell this first batch over to CJ. I'll try to make some bait and then we could hopefully make this go a little bit faster. Oh, I forgot I have to do a challenge. Small fry. Three small fries in a row. Okay. Dang it, I forgot I have to do that before he'll let me sell anything. Okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We need the teensy little baby ones. Come here. Psst, psst, psst. Come here, fishy. Okay, number one. Done. Focus. We got this. Oh, that was quick. I wasn't expecting that, but you know what? We, we make it happen. We make it happen, baby. Okay, here's our last one. In this baby little pond. We got this. That's small fry number three. We just completed the challenge. Let's go. Let me sell all of these bad boys. So this is not necessarily a full inventory. It almost is. Almost. But let's see what we get for all this. 22,500 bells. Not bad. Not bad. I just popped a balloon and got a plaid print dress. Let's see what this looks like. <gasps> cute this is the new fit okay i got some vanilla clams so i'm gonna go and make i think i have enough for like five pieces of bait whoa okay Oh my goodness. Okay. That fish always cracks me up. It just looks so funny. Another slightly kind of almost full inventory of fish. Plus those two huge like sharks that I caught. Like the sunfish and the other huge shark. So I'm excited to see how much this is going to get us. I feel like it's going to be a lot more than our 22,000. I got some good stuff for you today. I got some real good stuff for you. Here you go, sir. 32,000 bells. Okay, honestly, I was expecting it to be like a little bit more, but I'll take it. Every bell is a bell welcome in my pocket. Honestly, that was worth it. That took me a little bit of time. I spent like an hour doing that, but it was very much worth it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go check in on Abel's. I realized that I haven't even been inside the freaking building yet. And since we're not gonna have access to custom design portal thingy, you know, features, um, custom designs are, are kind of an issue. So I would like to get, what's it called? Sables, like patterns that I always forget to get. So I'm going to start talking to her every day as well. And also I would just like to have like a little cute outfit. You know what I mean? Like I'm not against a cute outfit. Hey girly, I need those custom designs like so badly. Can you just look? Please, Mabel, Mabel, listen, this doesn't involve you, okay? Unless you're going to give me the custom designs, then we can get you involved, bestie. Oh, we can get you involved. I didn't end up finding any clothes that I was particularly drawn to in the Able Sisters, but I did want to get a frog model from CJ before he left for the day, so I started to go around and fish up some frogs. I was also trying to plan out my next terraforming project since we unlocked terraforming. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, if I wanted to mess with the natural cliffs that are already there or just kind of like supplement with my own cliffs. So I was staring at the map for a very long time and ultimately I decided to do something near resident services instead of fishing up the frogs. I've ended up fishing up the frogs later. I don't know why I just like started fishing them up and then started terraforming. Who knows? So after starting up construction and attempting to clear out the area that I wanted to work on, I just started by picking up a lot of trees. There was a lot of trees in the way. You know, these islands spawn with so many trees. Like it's, it's borderline unnecessary the amount of trees that they start you out with. Like you don't you don't need that many. There was also some flowers to clear out. Bo has been absolutely obsessed with this little patch of flowers and I felt so bad like digging them up because he's been like watering them every day. But I did get started on some terraforming and my plan is to have a big chunk of terraforming in this bottom right corner and have this little overlook or like outlook view area looking at resident services, which I want to make kind of like really watery and kind of like almost like a little island type of thing. 
mean, not fully an island. I don't want any like bridges. Oh, or maybe I should have a bridge. Ooh, I don't really know yet, but I do know I want resident services to be like kind of a focal point. I want it to be really pretty and I want there to be like a little cliff that you climb up and there's like a little like telescope or like the little viewfinder item thingy. And it's supposed to be like a cute little like lookout area. So that was kind of my plan, my idea. I just wanted to have a big chunk of cliffs near the bottom right corner and I wanted there to be some sort of overlook area where you can look out on resident services which is going to eventually be some sort of like island watery looking thing maybe a little cute bridge I don't know there's not really a lot of space I started building up cliffs um, near where I wanted the cliffs to end and where I wanted the water to begin so as you can see it's not too much space that I have to work with so it's not going to be like a big pond right in front of resident services it's probably just going to be more of like a little river I'm not sure yet we're just you know we're taking it slow we're gonna see how it goes actually no we're not taking it slow that's the exact opposite of what we're doing i don't know why we said that i don't know why i said that sorry let me not involve you you know what it wasn't your fault i'm sorry it was me okay i'm currently recording this voiceover at 2 a.m okay <laughs> can you blame me so anyway i was just getting to work on the cliffs i had a lot of stuff in my way so i didn't fully get it done here's what it was looking like on the map pretty rough but i promise you it gets better i was just working on rounding some stuff off and making it look a little bit more like nice <laughs> i i like my cliffs to look nice i don't know about you guys but yeah i was just working on this it felt really nice to get into terraforming and i honestly can't believe how fast i unlocked it like normally i just take it slow on these islands and i don't really care about unlocking it super fast i just enjoy my time like as you're su supposed to on these islands but i i just can't believe how fast you can get it you can really just like put in the work put in the hours and you have terraforming anyway here's the little cliff section this is going to be the outlook area i'm just going to probably put like a picnic blanket of course i'm obsessed with doing picnic blankets but yeah that's going to be the little overlook area when you climb up it you're going to have that nice little view of resident and services it's gonna be very cute i decided to put my incline right by the airport and i know what you're thinking raven that's a little funky listen i need my island to be funky okay we're gonna be funky town over here because i'm not gonna have a lot of items i'm not gonna have good custom designs because i'm gonna be making all my own custom designs i need something where people will come on this island and be like Oh, that's kind of nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just want to have a lot of stuff that's like really unique or like weird or I don't know. I just want to give my island a lot of character, as much character as possible. So I thought it would be fun to do an incline right there by the airport. And I don't know. I don't really have any entrance ideas for this island anyway. So even if I don't really have an entrance, like I don't really care that much. But I decided to pay off the bridge just outright because I had a lot of bells and I just thought, you know why not let's just get it done i decided to move my house up there because i thought this would be a really good spot for marina like literally the exact spot that my house is in so i was like okay i'll move my house so i definitely needed an incline to get up there using a ladder was going to be way too annoying so i decided to put it up there in that little corner by that little cliff that i built honestly i'll probably keep my house yard pretty low-key everything's going to be really natural with like a lot of trees but yeah here's how everything was looking on the map as you can see those houses are very much in the way so I had to deal with that before I could continue like finishing this terraforming but I logged back in later and I decided to finally finish my quest for the frogs thank goodness so I caught the last one that I needed I sold a couple more fish to CJ and then I was able to submit that frog model and then we will have a frog model coming in the mail the next day I mean you know me we gotta have some frogs on this island and then I tried to pop this balloon that was floating on by but these items kept getting in the way so i unintentionally kind of started cleaning up the area um i just got some shoes from the balloon nothing interesting but yeah then i decided okay why not just finish that cleaning because everything's a mess we already got three stars it doesn't really matter i can pick all of this junk up so that's what i decided to do plus i did want to do some waterscaping in this area so i was just clearing that out for whenever i end up doing that so that is everything that i did on day five thank you so so much for watching we will get into more stuff tomorrow i will keep working on that terraforming we still need to finish it but i gotta move those houses and such and uh, i'm excited for our frog model to come in the mail i would super duper appreciate if you could give this video a like let me know that you're enjoying the series it also helps me out i'm very proud of the progress we've been making so far and i hope you guys are too and it's just all very exciting things we're getting into some juiciness we started terraforming it's all very very exciting so thank you so so much again for watching i very much appreciate you and i will see you tomorrow